Check this out guys, today on the channel we've got the SG218 Pro Drift Beast. Now, I picked this up off Banggood a few weeks ago and currently looking at the listing, it's on flash sale for $32.59. Advertised to have a strong motor, four light bars, 2.4 gigahertz remote control, four wheel drive and 7.4 volt battery. So why don't we get everything that's in the box here on the bench and continue on. All right, we got everything that was in the box on the bench, so let's have a look here. Now, starting with uh, the paperwork, we got the Drift High Speed Car Instructions here. And it's showing you how to charge the battery, install the battery, change out the tires, and basic operating instructions. It's in English, and on the other side is in Chinese. Let's put that aside. We got a mini Phillips screwdriver to change out the wheels. Now, it comes with two sets of wheels. Currently have the Drift wheels on the 218 Pro, which have the plastic tires. We've got the on-road wheels right here that have the rubber tires. And you're also getting a full set of mounting screws for the wheels. Battery charger, standard USB outlet in the one end, and then the other end is a 2S balance charging end that'll go into the battery of the 218 Pro. The battery on this one is proprietary. You can see right there, there's our input, our balance input, and it's just gonna plug in like so and then plug into your standard USB outlet to charge this up. It is 7.4 volt and has a 500 milliamp hour rating to it. And they're advertising 25 minutes of runtime per battery. I do have the two battery model. So I believe it's also available in the one battery version, if I'm not mistaken. Now, transmitter on this one, very toy grade to be honest with you. For the pro model, we're not looking very pro so far on this. This trigger feels all right. The size of the transmitter all right. Doesn't feel like it's gonna be proportional steering. Throttle I think is, we have a light button, low high speed, and then your power button right there. I'll have to open it up to see uh, what we're taking for batteries. Most likely some AA batteries, but we'll have a quick look here. Yeah, two AA batteries to power this up. So we'll get some batteries in there in a moment. Let's pull in the 218 Pro, guys. Now I'm using that term Pro lightly on this one so far. The first thing I want to check out, is it fully proportional? And confirmed, it's not. You can see right there, there's our steering adjustment. So this is definitely not fully proportional. There's the other battery right there on the bottom and it just pulls out and not very easily, I might say. Probably use the screwdriver, let's get that out. There we go. So there's your battery tray right there. Battery in, lock it into place. We've got two LED under light bars there. That is cool, I saw that in the advertisement. You can see all our steering there is plastic. All the linkage, the hubs plastic. So not looking very uh, pro at all. I believe this does have a brushed motor in it as well. Now we don't have any way of taking off the body other than undoing the two screws on the front here and two screws from right, below. So I pulled out the screws to detach the body. We pulled the film off and I really do like the body on this one guys. The color scheme, just look at that. That is a sweet looking body. Now what I don't really like is what I find underneath here is 100% confirmed non-proportional on the steering, we already knew that. You can see the plastic components from the top side now. And on the back side, a very small brushed motor to power the drivetrain on this one, which looks to be about the same size as the steering. If I were to guess, probably a 180 at best. We've got the electronics here. And one thing I do like though, is two other uh, LED light bars, one in the front and one in the back, along with the two that we already looked at on the bottom. So that is cool. I'm just gonna throw the body back on here. 
I have uh, batteries now in the transmitter. I do want to power this up and check out those LEDs. Right, I've turned off some of the lights in the shop so we can get a better look at the LEDs on the 218 Pro here. Now we should have front, bottom, and rear LEDs. So we're going to hit the light button here. And there we go. You can see nice bright white underglow. We got that white LED strip across the front. And then we've got the tail lights lit up now. Now, those are pretty cool. I'm liking what I see there. Now, one thing I just discovered is it's supposed to have a high and low speed. That's according to what's advertised online and according to what the transmitter shows here, high low speed button. Watch when I hit that. You can see it turns red on the underglow there. Now, we're gonna go back to uh, to normal speed. That's supposed to be high speed. Let's fire it up here and let's, uh, you tell me. You'll know I change the speed when the underglow lights change. I didn't hear a difference guys so I don't uh, think that claim of this having a two speed high and low is true but hey regardless I'm gonna get the batteries charged up now we'll get out we'll have some fun with the 218 Pro and when I say Pro I'm definitely using that term loosely on this one because this is about as toy grade as it gets other than maybe the lights the body everything else pretty much toy grade to be honest but hey let's go have some fun with it the price is right just wish they wouldn't use that term pro to uh you know falsely uh, advertise the product that they're selling here but hey let's test it out let's see what it's all about here first run we've got the road tires on here i'm going to be filming today my son's going to be driving so here we go Do a little bit of a range test. Seems to have decent uh, range. Now you got a button on there, son. High, low. Let me show you. Did you hit that? I'll have a little bit. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there's no difference in speed, guys. Like I said earlier on the bench, didn't seem like there was. So I actually uh, forgot to bring an SD card with me for my camera guys, so I'm filming with my phone today. So we'll see how, uh, how good this turns out. My son's usually uh, doing the filming and I'm usually uh, behind the controls, but have to give him a turn every now and then. All right, I figure I'm gonna get myself on the controls for a minute here. It's cool guys, but definitely uh, far from being pro. The response is great. Like for a toy grade, it's definitely uh, maybe a higher end toy grade compared to, you know, a cheap uh, Walmart RC. The price is right right now. I just wanted to get a quick, uh, you know, minute or so on the on the controls here before we switch it over. So we're going to switch it over now to the drift wheel and see how that goes. We got the drift wheels on, so here we go. Good. 
not the best place to be drifting, but hey, we're making the best of it. This thing drifts pretty good guys, not bad at all. I'm actually quite impressed. I wasn't expecting this. Let's bring it back here. I'm gonna have to give my son the controls here again. Switch it up here, my son's on the controls. Nice. This is actually not bad at drifting, guys. Quite surprised. He hasn't done much drifting, so he's getting the hang of it, but he's doing pretty good, actually. Like I said, it's not the most ideal. We got a lot of gravel on the road here, but we're making the best of it. Same original battery, 500 milliamp hour, two cell 7.4 volts. I think this is the best part of this RC is the drifting. Just missed the curb there. He's handling it pretty good. All right, guys. Well, tell you what, I'm gonna let him mess around for a few more minutes and then we'll uh, wrap this one up. this one up now with the SG218 not so pro hey we had a good time with it especially with those drift wheels on tell you what I'm gonna do I'll leave a link down below in the description if you want to get some more info or even grab one for yourself check it out there and we'll see you on the next one